Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our clinical biochemistry playlist. In previous videos, we talked about sorbitol, reducing sugars in the urine, lactose intolerance, galactosemia, the glycogen storage diseases, and then we started talking about islet cell tumors of the pancreas. We started with the most common, which is insulinoma, which is a tumor in the pancreas secreting too much insulin. Then we talked about glucagonoma, which is a tumor in the pancreas secreting too much glucagon. As for today, we'll talk about somatostatinoma, which is a tumor in the pancreas that releases too much somatostatin. Why does it end in IM? because it's a protein or a peptide. What does somato mean? It means body from soma. How about stat? Stable. Steady state because somatostatin is a doofus. It inhibits everything. It inhibits the release of insulin. It inhibits the release of glucagon. It even inhibits its own secretion. So I call it a doofus and this doofus is released by the delta cell of the pancreas. Please watch the videos in this clinical biochemistry playlist in order. Is somatostatin secreted by the exocrine pancreas or the endocrine pancreas? Answer, the endocrine pancreas. In the islets of Langerhans, the delta cells secrete somatostatin and the delta cells are interspersed between the beta cells and the alpha cells. The endocrine part of the pancreas is ductless. It secretes hormones directly into the bloodstreams. These hormones include insulin from the beta cell, glucagon from the alpha cell, and somatostatin the doofus from the delta cell. If you want to take it to the next level, the beta cell secretes insulin and amylin, and there are other cells known as PP cells, which secrete pancreatic polypeptide. To learn more about somatostatin, check out my physiology playlist. I have a video titled Somatostatin. So what does somatostatin do? It's a universal inhibitor. It inhibits everything. It inhibits the release of of gastrin, it inhibits the release of insulin, it inhibits the release of glucagon, it inhibits the release of everything you can imagine, it even inhibits its own secretion. That's why I call it a doofus. But it's not just in the pancreas. Somatostatin is also released by the hypothalamus. Somatostatin is anti-growth hormone, if you remember. When the hypothalamus releases a growth hormone releasing hormone, this will boost the production of growth hormone. But when the hypothalamus releases somatostatin, this will decrease the release of growth hormone from your anterior pituitary acetophils. Let's talk about somatostatin of the pancreas. What do you do? Well, first of all, let me tell you, I'm secreted by the delta cells of the islets of Langerhans in the pancreas. I'm also released by the upper part of the small intestine. I am also released by the hypothalamus. As for my function, you know it. I inhibit everything. I inhibit motility. I inhibit secretions. I inhibit motility of stomach and intestine. I inhibit the secretions of hormones. I inhibit the secretions of enzymes. I inhibit the secretion of bile. I even inhibit my own secretion. The islet cell tumors of the pancreas include insulinoma, glucagonoma, somatostatinoma, gastrinoma, or Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, as well as VIPoma. With that in mind, let's talk about somatostatinoma. It's a tumor of the delta cells in the islets of Langerhans in the pancreas. This tumor secretes too much somatostatin, as you might imagine, which inhibits the motility of stomach and intestine, and it inhibits secretion. When you inhibit the motility of stomach and intestine, there will be indigestion, and if you cannot digest properly, you will not be able to absorb that food, which means indigestion causes malabsorption. Don't forget that when I inhibit the secretions of the enzymes, the digestive enzymes, you also cannot digest, which means you cannot absorb either. When I inhibit the secretions of the enzymes that digest the fat, and when I inhibit the secretions of bile which emulsifies the fat, the end result is that you'll be unable to digest or absorb the fat or the fat-soluble vitamins. You get all of that fat in your stool because you could not absorb it. Fat in the stool is called steatorrhea. Rhea means flow and steato means fat. Lots of fat flow in your poop. Also, somatostatin inhibits the secretion of hydrochloric acid in the stomach. What's going to happen? A chlorhydra. A means no. Chlor is here, the CL. Hydra, the hydrogen, no hydrochloric acid, achlorhydria. And when it inhibits gastrin release, it also causes achlorhydria. Do you think you'll be able to digest proteins properly? Probably not. Do you think you'll be able to cleanse your food properly? 
Probably not. Do you think you'll be able to absorb iron? No, probably not, because iron absorption requires the conversion of ferric into ferrous, or Fe3 into Fe2 plus iron. This required HCl, but HCl is now toast. Somatostatin inhibits the release of CCK hormone. CCK used to contract the gallbladder. When the gallbladder is not contracting, well, you'll get stasis, which means that your crystals will saturate and precipitate and become stones. These could be painful. Somatostatin also inhibits insulin release, so you get diabetes. Somatostatinoma can metastasize to other locations outside the head of the pancreas. How can I diagnose it? Elevate the levels of somatostatin in the blood. And of course, it goes without saying that you need history and physical exam. All of these symptoms are common in somatostatinoma. Can I see the tumor? Yes, of course. CT scan of the abdomen, MRI of the abdomen, good old ultrasound, etc. Management, surgical resection, chemotherapy, because it can metastasize. And one of the agents that you can use is octreotide, which is a somatostatin analog. Hey, medicosis, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait a second. Octreotide is a somatostatin analog. Why would I get somatostatin to a patient who has somatostatinoma? Because somatostatin inhibits its own secretion. I know it's crazy. What is octreotide? It's a somatostatin analog. It acts on the same somatostatin receptor. It fools the receptor, so the receptor will think, oh, hey, octreotide, you are somatostatin, right? Come on in. Well, no, I look like somatostatin, but I'm not somatostatin. I fooled the receptor. And the receptor will do what somatostatin wants it to do. It will inhibit the secretion of everything. That's why we can use somatostatin analog octreotide as a treatment for esophageal varices to inhibit bleeding in gastrinoma, to inhibit the secretion of gastrin in insulinoma, to inhibit the release of insulin in glucagonoma, to lower the release of glucagon and even in somatostatinoma. It's a universal inhibitor. Also, we can use octreotide to manage acromegaly and hyperprolactinemia because it inhibits the release of growth hormone and prolactin, respectively. In the next video, I'll tell you about VIPoma and the treatment will also involve octreotide. In a previous video, we talked about carcinoid syndrome. If you haven't watched it, please do. Side effects of octreotide include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, like most medications, and don't forget gallstones because I inhibited CCK, which means I inhibited the contraction of the gallbladder, which means I caused stasis of bile, which increases the risk of stone precipitation. To understand the concept of solution saturation, which can contribute to stone formation, check out my video on kidney stones. Do you want to learn more about insulin and the different types of insulin and the different doses of insulin and how you calculate the dose for your patient with diabetes? If you want to understand the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes, as well as diabetic ketoacidosis, then download my endocrine pharmacology course at medicosisperfectsnandis.com. To learn about glomerular filtration rate, countercurrent multiplier, titratable acidity, and how your kidney functions, download my renal physiology course at medicosisperfectsnandis.com. If you do not want to download my courses but would rather watch them right here on YouTube, click the join button and choose the highest tier to gain instant access to more than 300 premium videos right now. Please subscribe and hit the bell, support my channel here or here, go to my website to download my courses, notes and cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus where medicine makes perfect sense.